there won't be much bloopers to edit. I'm doing a straight shoot. Hi guys, welcome back to Alina's YouTube channel. As you can see, she's a little feisty today as she recounts her activities from 2019. Ooh. What is she gonna tell you? Is she gonna tell you the whole truth? It's very interesting that your breath doesn't stink. I brush my teeth. Oh. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be recapping 2000 and 19 Yay! it's been a crazy 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 year a lot a lot has changed so i started off 2019 with the idea of wanting to move so i decided that i wanted to move to chicago because i knew people there ambrio was there my current roommate also one of my best friends and i just wanted a whole different experience and just like to be emerged in a different type of place and also get that first opportunity to like really move away from home like as an adult not like as a college student and so i just took the plunge and i just went for it moving away from home was like really sad like i miss a lot of my friends and i left a lot of like things that were like going for me like behind and stuff like that which was like really sad but like at the same time like I knew that like I wanted to do something different and I wanted to see different things and make like my own way for myself. So I felt like it was the best way, especially since I had a support system out here. Like I knew a few people who lived in Illinois. I had family that lived in Illinois. So it was easier to like live that transition than going somewhere where I absolutely had no one. I've met a lot of people through my jobs. It's opened my mind up to different type of people and also learning how different types of people cope in different situations. I've met and created relationships with a lot of Hispanic people. And it's very interesting how you learn about their culture, especially when you thought that tacos were actually like tacos from Taco Bell, but then you learn tacos are actually like corn tortillas and steak and cilantro and avocado salsa isn't avocado and salsa is actually like spicy and can burn your mouth and that you know real tacos come from taco trucks and not chilies so i learned a lot in 19 um i actually traveled out of the country for the first time i went to um Canada we went to Niagara Falls and Toronto and it was a huge family trip and it was really cool like I had never traveled out the country um I never got a passport I got a passport for the first time I got to see Niagara Falls up close um I also got to see a lot of Toronto a lot of things that I've seen like in movies or in like Drake videos I got to see them up close and personal and I got to do it with my family which was amazing and very enjoyable definitely a different place from the united states like the air was cleaner the people were nicer so you got it going on canada for sure i got to go to new york for the first time um i was in new york for maybe less than 24 hours i was visiting my friend joy on my way to visit canada and we got to go to Central Park. That was my first time in Central Park. I got to see a lot of the stuff, obviously, that I see on TV and stuff. It's amazing. I definitely want to go back. Also in 2019, I got to see my idol, Ariana Grande, in concert, up close, in person, front row, no closer than you could get to her, which was the best ever. So just wanted to let you know. And she winked at me. So since we talked about all the good things that happened in 2019, now I'm gonna talk about some of the struggles that I had in 2019. I definitely had the struggle of self-doubt. You know, living in a place where there's so many people and you meet so many people that you feel like are so talented and so driven and you feel like you're that driven and that talented also but are not getting the same results i dealt with a lot of like doubting myself and my own abilities and me working through that you know constantly like 
telling myself, you've got this, you're good, you're great, you're amazing, um, over and over again, and just like, you know, doing things that made me happy and made me feel confident about my abilities and what I had really helped me get through those humps, especially like being away from people who are like so, so, so supportive. My friend group in New Orleans, like they all, actually all my friend groups, just like I feel like flood me with accolades and things like that. But being in a new place where people don't know you, you have like maybe one or two people who are doing that for you. And you shouldn't like, <laughs> nobody's expected to sit there and like drown you with comp compliments all day. Like that's not their responsibility. But especially coming from a place where I felt so much love surrounded by me all the time, to come to a place where, you know, I feel like there's only two people who really know my abilities and what I could bring to the table and proving yourself to people who just met you that, you know, obviously say, oh, she's young, she doesn't know anything, or she's young, she doesn't understand how this works and proving yourself to those people. Sometimes you have to just swallow the bullet and allow them to teach even though you know what they're teaching. And sometimes it could be like degrading and make you feel like, you know, you don't know anything. And I dealt with a lot of that this year. Um, I dealt with a lot of seclusion in a sense. Um, at first, when I first moved here, I felt like, you know, I was very lonely because I really didn't have any friends and I was just meeting people. And like at this age, it's really hard to make friends, uh, especially when all you do is work. And sometimes, you know, if you are a manager of someone of a higher status, you really can't be friends with people who are on a lower tier of you. So like actually having friends to hang out with was difficult because I wasn't really making any and I didn't have any time to really make any friends because all I was doing and still am doing is working. So really dealing with that and just telling myself that it's okay to be alone. Like you don't always have to be surrounded by people. Like it's, it's not, it's not an issue, you know? And sometimes it's hard when you come from a home where you have two brothers, you have a mom, you have a dad, you have somebody that, you know, at three o'clock every day, like everyone's home. To come to a place where, you know, you don't have that sense of, I can go by so-and-so's house or I can hang out with so-and-so after work or I can go visit so-and-so. Like the only place I can really go is my job, my apartment and my friend that I made out here is home. So I don't really have those luxuries and those multiple locations to go to. So it was hard dealing with that, especially like the way I used to roll. I used to, after work, go everywhere. We used to go to happy hour. We used to go by people's apartments. We used to go by people's homes. We used to go to Marshall's. We used to go to TJ Maxx. So it's just, it's different dealing with that also. And the last thing I want to talk about um, as a struggle I dealt with in 2019 was definitely self-care. This year, my self-care has gone completely down. I was so bad to myself in the self-care department. Like, terrible. Like, bad. Like, there was days, even last week, where I would just go to work and I used to have just like a bird's nest on my head or I wasn't taking time out to just enjoy like what was going on around me because I was so concerned about what was next, what was happening next, what I had to do next, what like trying to just keep up with everything I had to get done. And it took a lot for me, like mentally, physically. Um, I was eating a bunch of like junk food and seeing my like face break out, seeing different things happen to my body physically and not in the sense of gaining, but in the sense of like losing where I felt like I was eating what I needed to eat. But at the same time, I was so stressed and so like on the edge that my body was just doing whatever. It was crazy. 
And so I definitely lacked in that department. And in 2020, I'm definitely gonna take better care of myself mentally, physically, and emotionally because I just let life just run over me. Like this year has been the year that I have been so, I've been in control, but out of control. At the beginning of the year, I feel like when I was moving, I was working out twice a day. Like I had the luxury of doing what I needed to do for myself. I was so in control of my life. But now I feel like my life runs me and I never run any of it. So I need to work on maybe running my life again, like taking control of my life. You know what I'm saying? So I went to the store and I got a planner. Whenever I have a planner, my life goes right and when you know how many hours you have in the day and what you have to do and see that downtime that you have to give to yourself or give to a task so you're not running around last minute freaking out you know that's the best you know and also I let my job like run a lot of my life also and in 2020 that can happen so goals for 2020 so in 2020, like I just said, less stress, um, let more focus on me and what I need. I really want to start working towards being financially independent in the sense of not having to rely on, you know, going to a job that stresses me out every single day. I want to start working towards those goals. I actually want to start working towards completing goals because recently, since I've been so consumed with something else, I have not been able to reach my goals of like, posting videos often, working on my blog, doing different things for me and things that will elevate me. So in 2020, that's definitely my goal to keep keep the focus on me because at the end of the day, the things that I have going on benefit other people. It might benefit me in a monetary standpoint, but it's not going to be my livelihood for the rest of my life, you know, and I need to start preparing for the rest of my life, especially if I don't want to be working for someone else for the rest of my life. So in 2020, I'm putting the focus on me and what I want and putting it on my health and putting it just on my whole self-care world. Also in 2020, I really want to work on saying like less. In this video, there's going to be a like counter. It's gonna be at the bottom. And just check out how many times I've said like, because in 2020, we are done saying like. It's over. It's probably not over. It's probably just gonna be less. So <laughs> I wanna work on that. And also in 2020, I just wanna work on being more open and also like working on what I want to work on, what I came to Chicago to do. I didn't come to Chicago to do what I'm doing right now. I don't want to say what I'm doing right now, but I didn't come to Chicago to do what I'm doing right now. I came to Chicago to grow, to learn, and to create my life or start creating this life for myself and being in a more creative world. And that's what I came here to do because what I realized is what I'm currently doing, I could be back home paying no rent and doing it, you know? So you have one life and you have to make every experience count and I need to make this experience count. And that's what I'm going to start doing. So, so thank you guys for checking out my video. If you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and give it a thumbs up. So until next time, bye.